What's up everyone? This is Optinoob and here we are, well, I am showing you a guide for the Sunny Sands Explorer Shores on Dragon Quest Builders 2. You unlock this Explorer Island after completing Chapter 2 and a few more story objectives. So, straight onto the island. Here you unlock infinite supply of uh, coal and iron. So first off, we're going to check the ca cactus trunk. Yay! Cactus trunk. There's a few parts in cactus to check off. You've got a cactus crown. You have the, the sandy sandstone. Yay! You also have a pet here, the cat. So i befriend that little cute thing. So you now have a cat, uh, you've got the uh, prickly, prickly peach cactus to check uh -huh. off. Now you've got the magic flute which you found in uh, chapter 2 Crumbledon. You can use that and it will take you to any near materials that you have not yet ticked off. Very useful. You've got a gladius Yay. check off plant, gladius plant. The fan fern. That's a large flower, well, a large green plant you can see there. Fibrous fern. That's a sort of smaller one with fatter leaves. You have the big palm tree. Banana to take off. Make sure you are, t and if you come across any materials you have not yet acquired, make sure you um, gather them up, just so you've got a good amount in case you need them for the future. As you can see, there's a king slime super strong monster here. So that's chili pepper. Chili pepper ticked off, you have avid earth ticked off. So that chili pepper, you'll find that growing somewhere on these avid earth blocks. Make sure you smash some of them uh, chili peppers so you gather some of the chilies. Here we have stony soil. Campus grass. Some more plants here as well. We've got a sunflower off the list. Make sure you gather them, take some with you. I doubt you have any at the moment. We also have sweet corn here to tick off. That should be new material for you, so make sure you gather some up. That is all you will find above the surface. All the, the rest you'll find in one of these one of these caverns which you can drop into. They weren't all they will not all lead deep underground, but one or two of these caverns that you can drop into. They will lead to some tunnels which will lead very, very deep in the ground, which you'll find the rest of the materials. Now before heading down, you may want to find the builder creation first, as he will be on the surface. But as you can see, you will not see him above ground, he's just below. You should find him just below in a small hole like this, so <laughs> they may be difficult to find. So keep an eye on your mini-map for that villager icon to appear.
here we have the marsh room. This will be found <laughs> underground. We're not quite in the tunnel yet, leads deep down, but you'll find some of them in these yeah. higher tunnels. So coal, coal vein block. We have vine apple here. As you can see that grows on the vines. You have the, the blue ones as well. The shine apple. The uh, small blueberries that grow on them. Okay, so here we have the iron vein block, which I finally discovered. Just remember, you can use some magic flutes if you need to that you found out crumbled in, and that will take you to anything you haven't yet acquired. So we have we have found found the um, cavern that leads you further and further down into the ground. So just keep exploring here, and as you drop down the different levels more materials should appear as you can see here so here is a massive mushroom stem you need to examine the crowns as well so a massive mushroom cup off the list we have that blue dye vein block off the list be sure you take these with you as well you have that white dye vein block off the list you also have the supermassive mushroom cap to take off the list. As you can see, that's the orange large mushroom. You have a mal malachite. That's a, the green floor in there. You have the blue mushroom, which what what's it called? Fungus or gungus? That's a tick off. So just keep looking around and you should find somewhere a little lead deeper down. Here we have the sizable st stalamite. There should be a smaller one of them to uh, check as well. So not much left to check off. And there's the smaller ones. Stalagmites. Yep. So all that's left is the um the ore, which is very, very rare. You'll this will be very difficult to find without the magic flute. So rather than run around, I just decided to dig straight straight to where the magic fleet was directed to me. So that's a mithril vein block. You normally just find a few of them within some of these piles of ore. Not everyone will have something like this. That's why you need the magic flute. So that's mithril, mithril vein block. And we have just unlocked infinite supply of iron. So one more, one more infinite supply to... Uh, Acquire magic food should take you straight there, and there we have diamond vein block. Be sure you take some of these with you. And that's the infinite supply of coal acquired. That's it. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on another video. See you.